me and Thomas with Front Office Sports, here with James Gillio, talking fan engagement. We're talking cool new technologies. All right. Give me a little background on how you got started in this space and, and how you guys have sort of built what you built these last seven years. Sure. So I, uh, I had been previously working in the out of home advertising industry and uh, I started to see trends in uh, brands leaning on technology. Now this was back in 2008 to, to about 2012 where you know the iPhone had just come out, apps were uh, being developed like crazy and you know I just started to see this trend in where big brands were looking to connect with consumers in a much more untraditional way. Um, but at the time, neither the technology or conduit or deployment systems were really there outside of those handheld devices. And so, um, you know, I was on a business trip down in Tampa for that company and I couldn't get this idea out of my head where I wanted to create these interactive touch points for professional sports teams and fans to participate in these simulated sporting experiences, right? And I felt, you know, if you can uh, find a piece of real estate where you have upwards of 50,000 people, you know, gathering at, you know, extended amount of time, what better way to showcase engaging technology? And oh, by the way, you know, this is heavily involved with sponsors as well. You know, that's a very mm -hmm. symbiotic relationship that teams and, and brands have. So. Uh, I, I was in Tampa Bay and uh, I finished up my meetings and then I said, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and cold call some of the local teams. Uh, true story. And, and, and so uh, th this was the winter of 2012 and so um, Tampa Bay Rays, Brian Killensworth took my call and, and so uh, I told him I was in town for a short amount of time and uh, I, I went in and pitched what now is MVP Interactive. and. You know, he gave me enough market validation and confidence in that this, there was something to this idea that I spent the next couple of months really prioritizing, doing some more due diligence, uh, pretty much divesting any level of savings and, uh, you know, finances that I had and really took the plunge. And so I incorporated in May 2012. Uh, Mark Tatum, who is now the assistant commissioner, uh, took my meeting. Still don't know how I got into that door, but at the time he was the executive vice president of global marketing. Uh, I don't know if he fully understood what I was saying, but he, 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 he saw something and introduced me to his marketing team. Uh, so it was there. Uh, they said, you know what? We host a jam session all-star weekend every season, and this would be a great touch point for you to come almost quite literally on the spot, we signed BBVA Compass to a multi-team deal uh, as a result of the showcase there. And so that's really the pivot point of our company where we became real. So I'm sure a lot has changed these last seven years in terms of the technology, your ability to execute on these sort of things. But what would you say is sort of the current state of fan engagement tools like this? Uh, are, are fans still engaging with it in the same way? Are they are they expecting things like this now? Yeah. Think when they go to a game at Master Garden or something right. like that. I think the, the, the big industry uh, movement has been the ad, 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 adoption for the properties, right? Six, seven years ago, you know, f uh, when properties and, t and ownership were talking about fan experience, it really meant the new jumbotrons or maybe the new LEDs within the bowl. And, and so I think from a sponsorship activation, we were a little bit ahead of the curve. And so properties and, and um, corporate sponsorship folks weren't really thinking about this type leveraging technology as this engagement. So um, it's been nice to see the evolution of the industry in itself sort of catch up to say, hey, you know, this is a new way, a new form of media and advertising where, you know, the antiquated towel uh, handouts and credit card applications are, are no more where brands are really and properties are um, underwriting these experiences that create a, a really unique, memorable experience for fans because that also falls into the uh, overall holistic efforts of mm -hmm. saying, hey, we understand it's an expensive ticket purchase to, to get your whole family to a venue, right? right? How can we think about, you know, the hours before the gates open, you know, during uh, the game time as well as the uh, post game to really create this full day experience? And I, I think, you know, leveraging technology f in front of consumers is, is a great touch point. Um, we have seen a nice trend in properties really leaning on uh, creating destination points through this technology. So over the course of one season, two season, three season, it really builds a foundation of repeat fans to come, a, come to the location, come to the destination, whether it's a digital social lounge or a fixed gaming unit, something along those lines where it's like, hey, 
I know I'm going to participate in this. This is a part of you know, the game day experience, much similar to buying a beer or a, a Coke or a hot dog, right? It seems like a trend too where you know, teams, properties, leagues, they can't get enough fan data as well. And, and knowing more about the people that are in their building, not only that they're fans of the teams, but other demographic information about them, seems like the technologies that you guys have can play a big role in that too, and just understanding who those people really are. You're, you're absolutely right. And so, you know, one of the things that we like to say is not only are we able to create that front end fun experience, mm -hmm. you know, we are putting a lot of thought and um, technology into the ROI of that data. So, you know, there's a nice seamless exchange of information for the user to participate in the technology. As you mentioned er uh, earlier, the takeaway is a big draw, right? Yeah. You know, if you have that refrigerator piece, if you have a, uh, a photo printed or, you know, maybe that di digital element that's shared with you across social, you know, that you're able to share your score of a participation or your photo. And then even further, because we are leveraging facial detection capabilities, we're able from a traditional media standpoint, show how many uh, impressions uh, our, our touch points are, are gathering, what the dwell times are, what the, de uh, the uh, attention times are, as well as demographic information. So, and we package that in a very digestible uh, dashboard that uh, both the team and the, and the brand can sort of log in and say, okay, great. You know, we're seeing peak performance during, you know, weekend games and, you know, here's the, the, the user data that's been uh, extrapolated there and they can pipe that into their CRM. And so, um, so we provide that back end as well. And, and so, you know, we've tried to think of everything we feel like we have and just when I say that something else comes out but you know we've been doing this long enough where you know we have um, a lot of case studies to, to really show the value and in, in why the concourse activation is important to us you know and um, you know we, we always say that it's the artery to the game day right that concourse is is a true artery to what the ultimate experience is right and so why not leverage that you think about the new stadiums coming online, the sales process there, is there an element of this can serve uh, fans in that sense where you're, you're going to have those interactive experiences maybe before you can get into the building or the building's being built? Is that something that you guys are sort of operating You as know, well? that's really funny because, uh, you know, that, that example that I was referencing, that's exactly what oh, okay. they're looking to do via mobile and AR, right? Interesting. You know, and, and we've, we've also deployed some other really cool mobile experiences outside of uh, the the stadiums, you know, whether it's um, we worked with Atlanta United and, and we created a really cool AR scavenger hunt uh, throughout the city of Atlanta where fans were were tasked to uh, inside the eight, the Atlanta United mobile app, find AR stickers throughout the city and scan them, try to collect as many coins and as uh, markers as possible. And the reward was a new team jersey, right? Cool. And so uh, things of that nature. And then you can bring that right back into, you know, the at-home experience as well as the in-venue one too.